My name is Darren Martin. Uh, I'm a professional musician, singer, actor, performer. Uh, in fact, most people would know me that way more so than uh, my art. Uh, in fact, the interesting part about my story is that in grade 12, when I was going to audition for Mon School of Music, I ended up with a stress-related disorder called conversion disorder, and I lost my voice for almost a full year and had to do uh, intense therapy, uh, speech pathology, all that stuff to try to get my voice back. So in that year of trying to repair and, and, and get my voice back on track, I decided to follow my other love, which was drawing and art. And it brought me to Stephenville, where I actually did the visual arts program, uh, fine arts, and uh, graduated from that, and then went back to music. So I spent about 15 years of my life away from art almost entirely uh, while I was working as a professional actor. So after art school, I went to, uh, I did the music program in Stephenville, and then I did a recording arts program. So in five years, I did three diplomas. Uh, all arts related and spent uh, 15 years of my life crafting, learning and developing my craft as a singer and as a performer and as a music teacher. Uh, and then four years ago my wife actually said, I think you're missing something. Why don't you, uh, why don't you try a painting? Why don't you try doing some art? And I really honestly thought that that part of my life was over. Uh, so I just said, no, I think I'm okay. And she said, just paint one painting. So she said, just paint one painting. And one painting became uh, now over 650 pieces of art since four years ago, with only a very small amount of them being a handful of work from my art school days. Uh, I've been very blessed with this. It's not an easy career, but I enjoy what I'm doing. And you're actually, right now, you're in our gallery, which is Northside Studios, in beautiful and scenic Torbay, Newfoundland, which we moved here uh, 11 years ago. I um, definitely would, I think, fit into an impressionistic, post-impressionistic style, mainly, with also a little bit of surreal, surrealism and abstract um, mixed in there as well. I, I'm really trying to be my own unique style. However, I'm, I, I'm highly influenced by Vincent van Gogh, who was uh, one of the most famous post-impressionist painters of all time. Um, when it comes to work for me, I want it to represent emotion and joy and life and color. And it's more for me about capturing an energy and an essence than it is about trying to make something look exactly like what a photo would do. So. My style takes on several different uh, looks and feels. Uh, some of them are more of a tighter, kind of refined, very flat in terms of the paint layered on the on the canvas. So like one like this one over here. So this painting here, which is called Don't Fence Me In, is done in a bit more of a refined in terms of that it's not overly thick paint. It's still more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Gestural. It's not meant to look realistic, but it it's capturing an idea that I had in my mind. So that style there. And then there's uh, other paintings. Uh, so this is currently my favorite right now in the gallery. And um, this is called Home Sweet Home. So this piece here, uh, from different angles, you're going to see that the paint is coming out. It's, it's very 3D in, in elements super thick paint but this for me I look at it and I feel an emotion and an energy from the colors and from the the way that the the intensity of how the paint was laid um, so that style is really probably my favorite to deal with right now and this is definitely one of my favorite paintings in the gallery and there's about a hundred pieces in the two rooms that we have here so there's a lot of art uh, typically I don't do tons of large pieces uh, this is one of the largest ones if yeah one of the largest in our gallery right now it's two feet by four feet um, it's called leaving on the morning tide spelled like morning like a morning for a person uh, I like painting Newfoundland and Newfoundland's culture and and history and the idea of this painting is that this lady is watching as her husband's boat is going to see wondering if he will return 
like I say about Newfoundland, the ocean has given us a lot, but it's also taken a lot Peace away. Here is called so that Angels, and it's actually based off of the song by Robbie Williams of the same title. Um, I have several pieces of art that are based upon song titles, and this is the idea of we all need comfort, we all need an angel in our corner, someone that's there to guide us when we feel down. So it actually is meant to be myself being embraced by the angel and uh, so it's it is a very deep special piece to me. You know this piece is uh, very important to me because it, it deals with uh, mental health issues as well and that we all need that guiding light. We need an angel and I'm a very spiritual person and I make art and I thank God for the gifts that he's, he's given me and I believe that um, he's in my corner and so that Peace Angels is definitely a, you know, speaking about that.